This is a threatening, powerful vehicle mode. Got a play value to him. Um, speaking of which, the action feature on top of the under the turret here for aerial dogfighting. Uh, because, you know, World War bomber planes were always notorious for getting shot down, so I thought that was a nice touch of realism because a lot of the B-52s wasn't located here on the B-52 bomber plane. Uh, they did try to add these kind of mounted turrets to protect them from from fighter jets or fighter planes. Feature is, there's a clip system point on that, by the way. There's a machine gun on my clip, and that can still dock into the machine gun like that. So you have more guns. And you can pull this down and use that to bomb down on your targets. This purple button can um, deploy your missile. Alternatively, if you want it to be a heat seeker, you can just pull the turret up for a surprise missile and the, and the button exposes itself right there. Right here, when the launcher pulls into position. It's very nice. But it does make it easy for you to accidentally fire the missile, which is a thing for this canopy to be here, because if you do accidentally fire it, if you do accidentally press this button while this guy's down, just nothing. This blocks it, and that is a nice engineering safety so you can store your missile. And there's kind of a Cybertron jet fire kind of mold, mode as well. Uh, where you just dramatically pull up, rotate the whole tail section, and then pull up the launcher, and then he's got a overhead blaster. And your clip system weapon is more, now more forward mounted, mounted as well. So that's pretty sweet. You can fire that as well. It's an intimidating, powerful vehicle mode. Unfold the legs. Like so, after you've done your swivel and twist, of course. I believe I have not done it on this side. There you go. Uh, vehicle mode. Transforming to vehicle mode, transforming to robot mode. Simple as that. Just look for the rivet. I mean, it's common sense. Taking on the top section of the plane you get this really cool arm transformation where he lets go of his wing section is this joint may seem a little loose may seem like over time that you could worry about future proofing it because this might become floppy in the future but the the engineering thing about this is since this thumb does actually ooh, spring loaded since this thumb does actually clip down into it, it becomes nice and solid when you do want him to be in jet mode. So that's a nice engineering thing with the thumb. It's it's so polished. Then you rotate the hand out, swing this around one more time. Backpack down, then push in the backpack for an automorph conversion. Just a reminder that to reset this guy, uh, we're not using the auto. The automorph is unfortunately really just for. Well, you can raise and lower his head. That's really what this uh, backpack is going to do for you: is raise and lower Lugnut's head, get him all the way up to the top point where he needs to be in robot mode, get him all the way to the bottom where he needs to be tucked away for his. Uh, Jet fighter mode. And then you just snap these together, you snap that together. It's a really nice automorph because all it is really is the head pushing out on these pieces and these pieces also being spring loaded. It's really as short as um, the original animated lug nut, but he is devastatingly impressive. And check out how the head sculpt on this guy has some nice animated angles, perhaps more akin to the how the 
clearly someone is a fan of Lugnut, um, myself included, but the people who designed this guy are diehard fans of Lugnut from Animated, because just look at that chin. It's, it's so Lugnut, and he talks. They dared to defy Megatron, and now they shall pay the price. I am your servant, now until the end of my spark. For the Decepticons, for this cause, I fight. I am superior. I am Lugnut, Destroyer. Transform and rise up. Features of robot mode. Beyond his dramatic stature, let's start with his. Let's start at the feet and work our way up. He's got ball jointed meat and ball jointed feet that can go uh, have a couple swivels, so you can get the feet to go up and down. But thanks to the little ball joint down there, you can swivel it, move it back and forth. No problem. The swivel is nice, so you can have the feet level no matter what position he's in. It just sort of falls, collapses down there, so it's on the ground. Same thing on this side. These are the legs. Legs have a kind of interesting knee. Just due to the transformation, how everything has to collapse, you kind of have a double, you have a double knee joint. Your feet aren't quite lining up. Your legs are kind of seeming short on one side. It's probably just because you need to mess around with these knees and learn how they work. That's like one of his only gripes. The you know, other thing is that his automorph, unfortunately, his other negative point is that his automorph can sometimes can sometimes be a little weird and mess and throw you off while you're trying to play with it because that head will want to come down and knock the chest piece out of position if you try to pull the backpack all the way back. Now, one problem I have with the backpack um, that uh, I've seen, you can you can fold that down, obviously, you're supposed to, and uh, by folding this out, I, I mean, one problem with the backpack is the purple missile's still there, so but I like to just transform it into a uh, sidearm for a lug nut. You have to take the clip weapon off, really, for, to do this, because it's just so... Well, you don't have to, I guess, but it just gives it better clearance for it to be a sort of G1 Megatron uh, side-slung cannon, and I do like that because, from the side, it makes the backpack seem to have more of a purpose, but it also gets that purple button out of the way so you don't accidentally click it while you're trying to mess with the toy. Lugnut has quite a good range of articulation, though I think probably the most noteworthy thing is his hand, which can actually has enough uh, fingers, actually, articulated fingers to grab stuff. Certain things that they can do that are amazing, like the fingers all uh, have two joints to them, so they can come in and be fit. Sample may vary, uh, your figure may vary from this, but mine's actually pretty good. I, I, I've heard some people do have weaker springs, but busy in, so that these thrusters start looking like uh, the uh, power boost gloves, more like knuckles. There you go. I think that's how it's intended. That's my rub symbol um, shining bright over there. And then you line it up, you pull this down, and you click this purple button, punch, blam. Pow. And of course he's very expressive in his head. He can do everything you want Lugnut to do in his eye. Despite, I don't think it's light piped, but man, it is a glorious eye. Extra, extra eyes for um, aiding his peripheral vision. Because he doesn't really have any without the without those extra eyes. Equipments. And uh, you also have the Legends, Megatron and Starscream. For reveal the shield Decepticons, and that's pretty much all of them. 